Think back to when you first met. What attracted you to one another? Welcome to Ms. Mojo. And today we're counting down our picks for the top 20 couples who you forgot are together. Not to sound corny, but I would sign up for a hundred more lifetimes. <laughs> <laughs> because... Oh <my> <laughs> For this list, we're looking at famous lovebirds who managed to keep their relationship relatively under wraps and are still together to this very day. Did we miss your OTP couple? Let us know in the comments. Number 20, Dakota Johnson and Chris Martin. This is about my universe. And she's here. The chemistry between these two is undeniable and has been since 2017. They may have had a slight break in 2019, but came back together just a couple of weeks later. According to Us Weekly, it was actually Chris Martin's ex, Gwyneth Paltrow, who played a key part in their reconciliation. In a good way, of course. The three are actually all good buddies, and there's no bad blood between them. In a 2020 interview with Harper's Bazaar, the Goop founder gushed about Dakota, telling the outlet, quote, I just adore her. Johnson and Martin keep a good balance between relationship privacy and showing off to the public. After all, when your love is so strong, even your ex roots for you, you know you have something special. Number 19, Kirsten Dunst and Jesse Plemons. Here's a classic love story for you. Kirsten Dunst and Jesse Plemons first met on the set of Fargo season two in 2015, where they played a married couple. You've been a real paladin. Um, what's that? It's like a night. My night. Sparks began to fly, and in 2016, they began dating. Just a year later, they got engaged, and a year after that, their son Ennis was born. What a cute timeline. To do this together, we have each other's backs on set, it just like, it's the dream. We'll always work together for the rest of our lives. These two are relatively private when it comes to their relationships, but you can often spot the now married couple at red carpet events. And it seems that the sparks are just as bright as they were back in 2015. You're making me believe in love, Kirsten. I didn't want to do that. Okay, I was it swearing happens. off of this. It happens. Okay. It really does. Number 18, Ted Danson and Mary Steenburgen. Ted Danson and Mary Steenburgen's romance blossomed on the set of Pontiac Moon in 1993. They quickly became inseparable, with Ted and Mary realizing how smitten they were following a canoe ride. <laughs> how romantic. It was very magical, and I think we came back differently. We came back, I think, you know, in love, to be honest. Or smitten, I'll say it. I'll say smitten. As their friendship slash relationship grew, they soon became engaged. They tied the knot in 1995 and have been married ever since. In 2023, People reported that the two are more in love than ever. Just say thank you. Yeah, it's just like that's the one thing I understand is that is gratitude. It's nice to be loved for who you are, yeah. good and bad. Danson had previously stated he wanted to live a long life with Steenburgen, while she said she would sign up for 100 more lifetimes with Danson. How cute. You can definitely feel their chemistry in person, and when they get a chance to work together on a TV project. To experience loving and being loved, and I, I have that every day, you know. I get to love, actively love, which feels so good, and I get to be loved, which feels so good. Number 17, Allison Hannigan and Alexis Denisov. Allison Hannigan and Alexis Denisov worked together both on the set of Buffy the Vampire Slayer and the spinoff Angel. Are there forces gathering? Did the call of magic draw you here? Oh no, more like the call of Fred. It was reportedly Hannigan who was first smitten with Denisov, but got rejected because he apparently didn't want a relationship with someone he worked with. Well, fate had other plans because they began dating two years later in 1999. Sorry. I think my sense of humor is trapped in a jar somewhere. Does seem like you've given in to that grumpy side of the force. After getting engaged, they married in 2003. Their relationship isn't as low-key as some other couples on our list, as they frequently post adorable photos of their kids and share a glimpse of their family life. But by the looks of it, their love is growing stronger and stronger each day. The key to a successful marriage is to find those qualities that make you fall in love with your spouse all over again, every day. Number 16, Kevin Bacon and Kira Sedgwick. It was 1987 when Bacon and Sedgwick first met as adults while on the set of Lemon Sky. 
We're specifying adults here because a preteen Kira allegedly approached Kevin back in 1978 after an off-Broadway play to show her appreciation for his performance. So this little girl came up and said, I thought you were really good in the play. That's actually <laughs> the first time that we met, technically. He didn't remember that when I when we worked together. I was like, "Do you remember I told you, I came out to you when I was 12? He was like, "No." <laughs> Though that first meeting didn't stick for Bacon, it didn't take long for the pair to fall in love when they reconnected in the late 80s. In fact, they'd get married in 1988. They've been together for three decades and joked how tired they get of being asked for relationship advice. This is not easy. Like life isn't easy. You know, building a family is not easy. Living in the world is not easy. And like, I feel proud of us that we're sustaining and, and that we're trying to put good things out into the world. Sedgwick admitted they just got incredibly lucky and are each other's soulmate. Sedgwick even has a tattoo designed by Bacon and underwear that reads, I heart KB. I think we've always been each other's biggest support and fan. Number 15, Jordan Peele and Chelsea Peretti. Jordan and Chelsea were searching for the perfect place for their wedding. These two are as cheesy as modern love stories can get. Believe it or not, Peele and Peretti first interacted on Twitter and shared several exchanges here and there on social media before letting the public know it was official. They even announced their engagement through tweets. In 2016, they tied the knot in a super private ceremony with their dog as the only witness. Really? Yeah. You had no guests or anything? No guests. She had us emanate rainbows from our hearts onto the rings. <laughs> you know, that whole thing. These two love to share glimpses of their relationship on social media and through interviews. And by the looks of it, they're still completely in love with each other. See? Sliding into the DM sometimes does pay off. But I'm really, I'm here to uh, support this beautiful... Number 14, Enrique Iglesias and Anna Kornikova. Enrique Iglesias and Anna Kornikova got together after she starred in Enrique's music video for Escape in 2001. It's almost like their love story was told in the music video as it didn't take too long for them to fall for each other. Despite rumors of breakups and engagements over the years, they have remained together and ignored what people were saying. They kept their relationship mostly low profile and rarely released any information to the public. In 2017, they welcomed twins Lucy and Nicholas. Three years later, Kornikova gave birth to their third child, Mary. As of 2023, these two are still going strong and have the most adorable family together. Number 13. Kerry Washington and Namdi Asmoa. Would you give your wife, Kerry Washington from Scandal, a big giant hug? Arguably, no one has kept their relationship as private as these two, but maybe that's the secret to a long and happy marriage. Actress Kerry Washington and former NFL player Asmoa only reveal tiny pieces of information about their romance over the past few years. The thing that I value the most is my wedding band. So. That's all that matters. That's what I would pay the most for of everything on here, because it comes with a man that I love. They reportedly met in 2009 when Washington was making her Broadway debut in Race. It's unclear when they officially started to date, but they did reveal that they had a secret wedding in 2013. In April of the next year, they had their first child, Isabella. As of 2023, they have two children together, and they continue to keep themselves and their relationship out of the spotlight. He's going to be like a husband of Hollywood now, or house husband of Hollywood, or no? You'll have to talk to him about that, All right. but he's really good. We're both feeling very blessed. Number 12, Isla Fisher and Sasha Baron Cohen. Isla Fisher and Sasha Baron Cohen's love story began in 2001 when they met at a party in Sydney, Australia. Sasha was reportedly taken by Isla's sense of humor, and that's all it really took for them to start dating. Sasha recalled that moment and told the New York Times she was hilarious. And we were at a very pretentious party, and me and her bonded over taking the mick out of the other people in the party. They kept things relatively private for the next few years while they got to know each other. They got engaged in 2004, and after a six-year engagement, they married in an intimate ceremony in Paris in 2010. Happened? It did. It, I'm glad that you brought this up yeah. because it did. Yeah. It did. Oh my goodness. And it was pretty good. Let me tell you. The couple now has three children and continue to support each other's careers in film and comedy. After more than two decades together, the two are still happily together. The big trend tonight, do you know what it is for couples on the carpet? Is it, uh, it's not making love on the carpet, is it? So be it, live on E! Tonight. Number 11, Javier Bardem and Penelope Cruz. 
Hasta pronto. Ole. Javier Bardem and Penelope Cruz first acted together while filming 1992's Hamon Hamon, but sparks didn't start flying until much later. They crossed acting paths again during the shooting of Vicky Cristina Barcelona in 2007, and that's when their romantic relationship really took off. After dating for three years, they tied the knot in a small, intimate ceremony in the Bahamas in 2010. The couple is private about their private life, but they continue to share their passion for acting today. They are also the proud parents of two children, Leo and Luna. I see the picture and you go, what, what is this beautiful creature on earth is doing with that guy? <laughs> but oh, yeah. I can think of a few reasons. <laughs> Number 10, Rachel Weisz and Daniel Craig. This couple's first encounter dates back to 1994. However, these two lovebirds didn't fall in love until years later, when they were on the set of a thriller where they had to play a married couple. And that's when the sparks started to fly, despite the fact they were both taken at the time. You didn't. <laughs> you didn't. I, I didn't. You went, oh, you did it. Oh, you did it. I'm so proud of you. Even though Rachel didn't want to marry in her previous relationship, which lasted for nine years, she wasted no time to tie the knot with Daniel. Is married life good? Married life is great, thank you. You're very happy. Mm. After all, how could you possibly resist marrying James Bond? The name's Bond. James Bond. Number 9. Cameron Diaz and Benji Madden Rock star Benji Madden put a ring on it in 2015 after meeting Cameron at a dinner party about a year earlier. They fell deeply and madly in love, so much so that Cameron decided to retire from acting in order to spend more time with Benji and work on her relationship. Things are about to change around here. Recess is over. What's even better is that Benji's brother Joel is married to Nicole Richie, which makes Cameron and Nicole sisters-in-law. Cameron and Benji continue to keep their love life as private as possible and are focusing on their adorable family. Love being a mother. It's the best, best, best part of my life that I couldn't even, like, I'm so, so, so grateful and so happy and it's just the best thing ever and I'm so lucky to get to do it with Benj and we're just having the best time. It's it's so great. Cameron described their relationship as, quote, two peas in a pod, which is honestly goals. Number eight, Oprah Winfrey and Stedman Graham. When it comes to low-key relationships, Oprah and Stedman are definitely among those who are keeping things as private as possible. The two met in 1986 at a charity event and got together soon after. Their relationship is not only private, but extremely fascinating. I think people are fascinated with the relationship because you haven't seen him. All the people haven't seen him and they, you know, want to know what is it? Is it real? What is a relationship really like? What are y'all like together? And you see, when you see us, it's really quite normal. They revealed that they never want to get married to each other, but that, of course, does not stop them from enjoying their time together. The thing about our relationship is I want the best for her. So, you know, I'm dedicated to her happiness and so that's great for her. In 1987, Stedman called Oprah's show and spoke to her on air, asking what she told her best friend about their relationship. Oprah was totally smitten, and it was absolutely adorable. I'm just wondering what she knows, and so I, I, I kind of have to, 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 to look down when I see her because I don't know if she knows how many gray hairs I have on my head or <laughs> what color my toes look like or what. Number seven, Leighton Meester and Adam Brody. Hey, Upper East Siders. We've heard from a very trusted source that Leighton Meester and Adam Brody secretly tied the knot back in 2014 after being in a secret relationship for a few years. You know what I just remembered? If you really want something, you don't suffer anyone or anything until you get it. Their relationship remained a huge Hollywood mystery, but they did walk their first red carpet as a married couple at the Tony Awards. They were even cast in the same movie called Life Partners, and Adam joined Leighton in a few episodes of Single Parents. I'm sorry I barged in, I just felt like I needed to make a grand gesture. The two lovebirds continued to keep their love life private as they welcomed their first child in 2015, and their second in September 2020. Yep, that's right, there's a mini Blair Waldorf and mini Seth Cohen out there. How cute is that? Please, dude, I just need to talk about me for like several more hours at least. Number six, Ava Mendez and Ryan Gosling. We love a good they fell in love on set story. It sounds like a nice dream. Ava and Ryan began dating in 2011 when they were filming The Place Beyond the Pines. The two have kept their entire relationship extremely private, which seems to be the golden rule for long-term Hollywood couples. 
They made a rare appearance together in a drunk history Christmas bit, but other than that, these two could write a manual on how to maintain a very secret relationship. When out on the lawn, there arose such a clatter. I sprang from my bed to see what was the matter. When Ryan was asked what he's looking for in a relationship, he simply replied with Ava Mendez. Again, goals. Number five, Alicia Vikander and Michael Fassbender. Here is another couple that met on set and dated quietly until their wedding in 2017. If you're asking me if my proposition still stands, then my answer is yes. <laughs> yes. A thousand times yes. However, these two didn't actually fall in love on set. They started talking more during the promotion of their movie, The Light Between Oceans. I mean, we already had a week of rehearsals as well, so you talked about your characters and what you were going to do, and, and I realized that, you know, he's got a down-to-earth and relaxed, funny dude. Alicia made it very clear that they keep certain things between them, and Michael agreed that sharing their private lives with total strangers is a no-go. And unlike some other Hollywood pairs, these two aren't in a rush to work together again. Alicia added that being individuals and doing their own thing is very beneficial for any relationship. Totally agreed. She's a very fierce performer and very brave, you know, as you're testing the boundaries and how far you can go. And um, that's, uh, you know, she definitely, you know, got all of those things in spades. Number four, Harrison Ford and Callista Flockhart. Getting engaged on Valentine's Day is by far one of the most romantic things ever. And that is precisely what happened between Harrison and Callista. They met in 2002, got engaged in 2009, and married in 2010. Much like other long-term Hollywood couples, these two love to keep things private. Harrison said that the key to their happy relationship was to not talk, but nod your head instead. The two lovebirds have an adopted son, Liam, who reportedly even got to see his dad on the set of Indiana Jones and the Kingdom of the Crystal Skull. It's gotta be amazing to have such an accomplished mom and a dad who is a legend. Number three, Diane Kruger and Norman Reedus. Now this was the hookup that had everyone talking. Diane Kruger was previously in a long-term relationship with Joshua Jackson. Diane and Norman didn't meet until they began shooting the 2016 movie Sky. Being each other's love interests and sharing intimate scenes seemed to have done the trick, and the two fell in love almost instantly. Tabloids had a blast trying to figure out whether these two were in a relationship or not because they kept things so low-key. Her hand was around him in the back of his pants, the source says, in an affectionate, girlfriendy way. They seemed like they were more than just friends. But after they welcomed their first child in 2018, their love was very clear to everyone, despite remaining very private. Number two, Taryn Killam and Kobe Smulders. Have you checked her IMDb star meter recently? <laughs> <laughs> it is full the roof. Now, this is a couple that's been together for more than a decade, and they're still just as smitten with each other as they were when they first met. But we met, we met at a friend's birthday party, and uh, we were 22, the friend was turning 30, so we were like, this chick is super old. They're not as low-key as some of the other couples on our list, but that just means we can witness plenty of their shenanigans. Like this one, when Taryn makes out with Kobe's movie poster. On top of that, their family is absolutely adorable. They always make sure to keep private moments as private as possible, while still making it very clear their love is still going strong. But I love my husband so much. <laughs> I love him so much. Well, that's good. Before we continue, be sure to subscribe to our channel and ring the bell to get notified about our latest videos. You have the option to be notified for occasional videos or all of them. If you're on your phone, make sure you go into your settings and switch on notifications. Number one, Sarah Michelle Gellar and Freddie Prince Jr. We all know that Scooby-Doo's Fred and Daphne were a power couple, but did you know that their real life versions have been married for over 20 years? We did it. Yes, we did. Their relationship has been described as being rom-com worthy, and Freddie revealed that their secret is to have no rules at all. They are notoriously private about their life, so much so that they rarely share any pictures of their family, despite being active on social media. When we get old and even grayer than I already am, one day I see us being on an island somewhere and, and being tan and fat and happy. And privacy really seems to be the key word to a successful Hollywood marriage, doesn't it? Long live Fred and Daphne. Hey, they're cheering for us again. Yep. I always thought that was the best thing in the world. Do you agree with our picks? Check out this other recent clip from Ms. Mojo. And be sure to subscribe and ring the bell to be notified about our latest videos.